Hi everyone, Aiden here with the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at this cargo net from Gladiator Cargo Nets. This one's going to be four feet nine inches wide and six feet long. So you can see in our truck bed here today, it's going to be a really nice fit and it's going to give us a pretty unique cover because a lot of the other Gladiator Nets are just this mesh with the really wide webbing. This one still has that, but it's covered in a heavy duty vinyl that's going to be puncture resistant and water resistant. So if you are driving in some wet conditions and you're worried about water damage to your gear, this is going to bead right off the top of there and keep everything underneath protected. Let's check it out. We've got a wide assortment of items underneath our net from coolers to totes and a large box. And that's where a cargo net can really shine is the fact that it can tie down a wide variety of items. If you've got a bunch of oddly shaped things that maybe don't all fit super well with ratchet straps, this can be sort of a one-stop shop to cover up the whole bed and get it all secured down. There's obviously some loose points on ours just on the edges, but that can be easily fixed with some extra tie downs that don't come in the kit that you can pick up. Or with this one being a water resistant material, I can see it being really useful for transporting furniture. My wife and I are pretty often getting used furniture and restoring it and adding it to our house. So something like this would be really helpful for my truck when I am picking some stuff up like that, because if it is raining or the weather outside isn't very good, it's nice to just cover that stuff up and keep it protected. All around the net, there's going to be 42 metal reinforced grommets in total. Those can be used to tie things down and use our anchor points on our straps. So all around the edges, there's those. And then there's some inset on the corners. That's what we're using right now, just at each of the four corners with the included straps. But like I said, you can easily add extras and there's plenty of points to do that to secure these looser edges. As far as weight capacity goes, the net itself is gonna have a safe working load limit of 700 pounds. And then the cam buckle straps included have a safe working load limit of 1,323 pounds. So just keep that in mind when you are getting things loaded up that that's what you're working with. As far as the actual length of those straps, so you know what you can use, it can get up to 34 inches long. We've got this one at the innermost tie down point on the net, as well as the very lowest tie down point on the truck. And there's still enough room to have some movement there. So again, using this in your truck bed, it's gonna be just fine. I've talked about some of the loose points on the side of the net, but I did wanna check out some of the spots that are really secure. So there is a little bit of movement in this cooler, but it is a kind of awkward shape, a little bit taller, and this is gonna keep it from tipping over for sure. So it's pretty secure at the corners. And then even this box in the middle, there's not a lot of movement in it. So it's really secure and definitely doing its job. Seeing it in the shop is one thing, but I do wanna take it out on the test course, drive around with it for a bit and see if anything does shift when we're actually driving. And after driving around with the net on, nothing came loose, none of the stacked items tipped over. So I'd say I'm pretty impressed with it. Obviously going down the road and highway speeds, things might be a little bit different, but I do think overall it performed really well and I'm pretty happy with how secure everything is. Everything comes in this really nice carrying case whenever you are just having it in storage. The main pocket in front will house the actual cargo net as well as if I take this out, our straps in the bottom here. So everything's stored in here and can keep it nice and tidy. But the bag is actually really nice because it's got a reinforced handle. There's plenty of room inside to store it. There's a pocket in the front where you could maybe put some extra straps or spots in the back where we could also put extra straps or bungee cords. Really anything that we need to tie things down, it can all live in here. There's even a zippered pocket as well. So there's tons of room and tons of function here. Getting the net set up, it is going to be longer one way. So for our truck bed today, we'll just kind of get things unraveled and find which way is going to be correct, which is looking like right here, luckily the label on it, which will go face up, can kind of let us know what direction it's facing. So I'll just get it draped over all the cargo here, roughly in place where we want it. We'll probably go around the edges of the truck and get the corners up front situated a bit better. But once we have it where we like it, we can strap things down. Up front, we'll adjust those corners. And while we're here, we can kind of check out the tie downs a little bit. There's grommets on the inner corners of the actual net. 
as well as all around the very outside edges, as well as on the side. So there's plenty of options to choose from. For the load we have today, it's not super tall, so we're probably gonna go for these inside corner ones to tie our stuff down. The cam buckle straps are super heavy duty, inch and a half wide, and the cam buckles themselves are very thick, so I trust them a lot, and they're very easy to use because of that. At the end of the carabiner will get clicked onto the actual cargo net, and then the vinyl coated double J hooks will go to our tie down points. I'm not fully tightening down these straps yet because none of the other straps are in place. I'll get everything loosely installed, then we can come back through and tighten it down fully. With everything loosely in place, we can just come back through and fully tighten these down on all the four corners. After looking over everything, I think this particular setup would benefit from some extra tie downs right here on the side. Luckily, you can pick those separately if you want but with all the grommets all around, it'd be really easy to just put one right here in the middle at this loose spot for us, run it to another tie down in the truck bed and keep this nice and secure over our tote. But overall, it's getting a really nice hold on everything and it's gonna keep things from tipping over. So I think the Gladiator net is really well built. Compared to a lot of other cargo nets out there, the thick webbing and the really well reinforced edges and all those tie down points make it really nice. And I'm not worried about it being insecure or lasting a long time. With that also in mind being a waterproof cover, I do like it much better than something else like a tarp because you do have those integrated tie down points. It comes included with straps and it's gonna be a lot easier to get it secured over the load in the bed. Now, if it's an option or you have one, a tile cover would definitely be nice, but for loads like this where it's a bit taller and extends above the bed rails, it's not always an option. So having something like this that we can break out in the case of having an elongated load or a taller load, it's going to be really helpful. But that'll do it for a look at this Gladiator Net cargo net. Thanks for watching.